Right fellas, welcome back. Um, today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform this rocker cover into this shiny one with just a few um, simple steps really. So, a little bit of an overview. Obviously this is the rocker cover that come off the van. Now, I did try to wire wheel it back, same process as what I did with the engine, but I wasn't getting anywhere. Um, I'd have been there hours, if not weeks, trying to do it. So anyway, cut long story short, I had it blasted. It's been primed. I've also sprayed it with filler primer as well. Um, so basically, it's just a case of flattening it back as smooth as I can get it. I'm going to use 400 grit sandpaper, uh, and then I can just use the Molo Green engine paint, which is in a spray bottle. Um, so I'll use that as obviously the last the last stage of the process. So right, I think we'll have a less talk, more action. Let's get this sanded sanded up. And then when we've got a nice warm day outside, um, which it won't be tonight because tonight is, hang on a minute, it's the 2nd of April today, um, so it's pitch black out there. I'm not spraying again in here because the amount of overspray that I've got in this garage over the past few, well, few months messing around with that engine is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, I've pretty much trashed my floor, um, my floor's got overspray all over it, um, so I'll have to think about doing something, something to that once... Um, once I've finished obviously doing all what I've got to do painting wise so right I'll show you this rock over a little bit closer up and then uh, we'll get busy okie dokie so as you can see this has been primed um, I did spray the inside of this rocker cover which I've had it blasted out now um, because it's not a good idea to paint inside so there's a little bit of overspray there which is actually pretty good as a guide coat um, I had a bit of a mess around with this the other night just to see what process I was going to take on it so I don't know if you can see if I bring you in um, little marks there um, little bits of orange peel here and there so like I say I'm going to try and get this as flat as possible and then um, when the weather's better we'll shoot a bit of colour on it and uh, see how it turns out Okay, so as you can see, I've been going at this for a little, for a little while now. Um, so this was obviously a high spot, which I've managed to bring down. Um, and there's also a few high spots kind of kind of there, a um, little bit there. But yeah, all this is looking really, really smooth. And what I'm looking for when I'm when I'm sanding it down is, I don't know if that camera can focus, I'm after like a super, super soft finish. Um, I don't want any orange peel in it. Hang on, let me see if I can find um, a bit of a defect in it. Oh, hang on. So you see like how oh, there's a bit of orange peel there? So obviously I need to keep keep going with that until that's completely gone, that green line, because then that'll give me sort of that finish when it's completely completely flat. So yeah, I'll just finish off this uh, this front section. So the bits I'm really paying attention to is, obviously I'm paying attention to the front bit, um, and obviously this top section here, and this these two sides. So the back bit, even though the back bit is looking super, super smooth now, um, again, I've just got to go over that one more time. Um, like I say, I want the front to be absolutely perfect. Um, if the back, you know, it's not 100%, I'm not too bothered, but if I can get it 100%, I will do. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you when this is, uh, when this is done, and then um, we'll get some colour on it. Right, okie dokie boys. So that's a rocker cover. All sanded back. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just using that infrared light to warm this up, um, so the paint 
I'll adhere to it, adhere to it better. I've also got myself a little container here. Hang on a minute. So I'm going to put my uh, engine paint in. Kettle. Don't worry, really. I'll uh, I'll put this back. So I'm going to warm the paint up. So while this paint's warming up, I'm going to take the kettle back to the missus before she uh, kills me, and then uh, we'll get painting that uh, that rock cover on the front of the garage. Okay, so I've still got that tin warming up in there, and what I have done is I've mounted my um, rocker cover onto this box. Idea being is I can lift it up from inside, pop it on my knee, wheel in with it, put it in front of the infrared light to bake it between um, between coats. Should it not um, go? It's it's fairly warm tonight, so yeah. As you can probably guess, um, I'm way impatient, so I'm having to paint it now. Um, idea being is if. I was painting this during the day. I'd be messing around in the garage. I'd be flicking dust everywhere. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this now, leave it in front of the infrared heater for half an hour, 45 minutes, and I'm going to uh, go back inside and go to bed because it is currently um, 10 past 10. So, right, I think that paint will be done. Um, I'm going to try and put you somewhere. I've conveniently brought my tripod as well. Um, I might put you on this little post here actually, um, and you can see me uh, spray the rocker cover. So, I'll catch you uh, in between coats. Tell you what though, before I do that, I'm going to uh, move my van, um, I've only had it two weeks and if I get it full of overspray, um, I don't think I'll be too impressed, so two ticks. Okay, okay, so me being an absolute genius, I've decided to uh, leave the lights on my van to give me a little bit more uh, light out here, so, right, let's get some paint on it. In fact, before we do that, safety first. Not only will this mask protect you from uh, paint fumes, it'll also uh, stop you dying of coronavirus. So, it's a win-win situation. Fucked it, just got running it. I'll do it again. Right, okay fellas, this is round two. Um so I've flattened it all back, got rid of all the runs and other bits that was in it. Um so fingers crossed this time it will uh it'll work. So let's uh see how it comes out. Right fellas, so that's how coat one has turned out. Um just gonna wait for this to flash off a little bit and then uh, I'm gonna go again with a bit more of a heavy coat and then once that one's flashed off again I'm gonna give it a third and final coat. Um if I'm still not happy at that I'll probably do four coats but yeah. Stick with me guys. Okay fellas, that's had three coats now, um, I'm going to give it another one, um, just it'll give me more to play with um, if I do decide to uh, wet flat and polish it.
Right, that's had about four coats now. Um, one more. Right, okay. Uh, I forgot to film the last bit, but I'll, uh, I'll show you the finished product. Um, and it's just a case of waiting for it to dry, so... This, it's probably had um, the best part of six, maybe seven, seven coats. Um, but yeah, it's looking absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and then I'm going to get it in the garage, get it in front of that infrared light and uh, get it dried out. Right, okay boys, uh, so back inside. I started contending with flies, um, this is how close I was to having a fly absolutely just ruin the whole thing again. Uh, have a look at this. Listen mate, you messed up my radiator, so I'm going to mess you up. Don't think so. So yeah, <laughs> close but no cigar mate. Right, what I've done, I've uh, stacked a few boxes on there, it's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, but yeah, I've got this on, full whack just to uh, try and get it to go off a little bit faster um, should any flies work the way in here. So what I'll do, um, I'm gonna call it a day for today and then, uh, hang on a minute, get the camera. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. Um, I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave it a couple of days now I think um, and then I shall join you. That phone. Um, I shall join you in a couple of days when this has gone off a little bit and uh, we'll get it mounted onto the van. So. With the power of editing, it'll be a few days for me, but it'll be uh, seconds for you. It's now the next day in the evening, so this rocket cover's probably had the best part of... Uh, when did I spray it yesterday? Probably about 6 o'clock yesterday, and it is now half past 8, so it's had 26 hours to go off. Um, I baked it in front of the infrared light, as you just saw, um, for a couple of hours once I painted it and come back just to turn the light off. And then once it was at a point where I could take it in the house, I've had it on the radiator as well all day, so that paint should pretty much all be uh, all be gone off. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, stick it on, stick it on the van. Um, I'm just I need to wait for a new a new plaque that comes on the top. So I'm going to spin you around. So I don't know if you can see these two holes there and two holes at the back. So those holes um, are for I think it's an Austin plate on it, and then. A black plate with like some writing on it. I think I'm just going to get new ones. Um, I think I've got them knocking about somewhere. If I find them, I'll pull them out and I'll, uh, I'll have a look and see if they are usable again. But I don't think they are, um, and I think they're only pretty cheap anyway. So, right, I'll go and get my uh, rocket cover fixings. Um, I've got some quite nice chrome fixings to go on this as well as well as a chrome cap. Uh, also, I'm just again, I need some more, uh, need some more parts. So this silicone, silicone gasket, ideally. That wants to be super glued to the bottom of the rocker cover, so that basically just stops it as you tighten the rocker cover down. It stops the uh, silicone gasket gasket spreading. That was a good tip. Um, I think Keith Miller mentioned that in one of his videos probably years ago, like now. Um, so yeah, I'll grab them bits and I'll uh, I'll show you what what we're doing next. So what you get in this kit is you get two uh, rocker cover tie downs, the ones that you do uh, just with your fingers, and obviously the relevant fixing is what you need to obviously fix the rocker cover down onto uh, the top of the engine so you've got two um, sort of plastic rubbery um, grommets which sit in the two holes and then you've also got a chrome cover which goes over the top of those like so you can see that and then you've got obviously the two the two fixings and a little washer that goes over the top of that and obviously clicks onto that so right Let's get it on the van, come on. Okie dokie, right. Rubber gasket first. Um, again, I'm not fixing this in situ properly because I need to get some super glue um, when I'm next out on my travels. Uh, obviously being in lockdown, super glue isn't really an essential thing as much as I'd love it to be. Uh, so I've got to stick to the rules like everyone else. And stick that one on there, like so. And then the two plastic rubbery grommets just go on the top there, like that. And then chrome ones. Oh yeah. 
start to finish it off now this and then obviously the wing nuts little washer goes on the top like so in there I think that's meant to go through there pretty easy. Let me uh, just whiz this off one minute. Ah, there we go. Shove them ones on first, because it takes a little bit of pressure to get them on. Oh, I forgot to put the spacer on. Hang on. Oh, now there, there, this is where we're going to have fun, isn't it? So, one and a two. Spot on, there's one. God, they are stiff to get on them. I suppose it's got to create an oil tight seal. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna go too tight on them, like I say, because I just want to let that paint go off a little bit more. Um, as, I, as I tighten it up, I don't want the the rubber to catch and, and get and pull it. So, like I say, this rock cover is more than likely gonna come off again anyway. Um, but it almost certainly will do to get that uh, seal all connected up properly. Okay. So, as you can see, that looks absolutely mint, that. Um, come out all right in the end. So, yeah, if you're a... Uh, hang on a minute. I've conveniently brought my uh, tripod as well, so I'm using an arrangement of different boxes. So, yeah, lesson number one from Toonie. Don't rush and paint in the dark because it doesn't work. Uh, you might be thinking, what's left of the oil filler cap? One second. Look at that. So I got all this stuff from Huddersfield Mini Spares, I think. Uh, yeah, I think this was Huddersfield Mini Spares and I've used um, Mini mini Spares um, in York and I've used Pinot Minis, um, sort of Barnsley way, for all my, all my bits and bobs. Oh, look at that. Right, let me show you that now it's all finished. That looks absolutely mint, that. So, you might notice that that paint is slightly lighter than that. What I have noticed with this more green engine paint is it does dull down a little bit over time. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, whether to let it dull down, and then I'm going to polish it up. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but let me go and see if I can find these uh, plates that go on the top of the rocker cover. And then uh, I'll show you which ones I mean. Right, fellas, uh, I have searched high and low for them plates. Can't find them absolutely anywhere. Um, so I'll just order some, some new ones up. On the subject of those plates as well, um, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to be screwing them back onto the rocker cover. So originally they were screwed on to the rocker cover. And I thought, I'm going to rivet them on this time. So I bought myself a rivet gun. Um, I've used a rivet gun for other bits anyway. But what I've recently learned, um, Kev Richardson actually mentioned it in one of his latest videos um, about riveting the, these plates in the rocker cover is potentially dangerous. So if that rivet fails, it can actually fall into the engine and obviously get stuck in your rockers and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna um, screw them back on with some self tappers like they originally were. But yeah, I can't, I'm, not, I'm not in no rush for that anyway because I can't see the van, the van running anytime soon anyway. Um, because again, I'm waiting on deliveries anyway. So on the subject of deliveries, I'm waiting on new commercials carpet, I am waiting on a lot of detailing gear as well so I can get the underside of it cleaned up, my other minis cleaned up as well. Um, and I'm actually going to pull my Mayfair out of the garage as well uh, and give that a really, really good once over because, yeah, I've not really, I've not really done anything with it. Um, the last, the last time I probably um, gave that car a good clean was, I had it in Bingley Hall, I think it was January 2018, so, hang on, no, January 2019, um, yeah, so it's been... Probably a good 14 months since that car's had any any sort of 
you know, work done to it. I've serviced it and stuff. Um, obviously, I didn't video that. Uh, so yeah, detailing bits, other bits and bobs. Like I'm just trying to entertain myself during this lockdown. I'm still working here, there, and, and stuff, just sticking to government guidelines with with work and stuff. So as much as I'd love to be locked down in here 24/7, I've just not got just not got the parts um, to be able to do it. So. Other things I intend on doing whilst I'm in lockdown as well is I want to put some more shelves up as well. So I put myself a whiteboard up here um, and I want to get myself some shelves along this wall. So I'm just trying to decide what to put on shelves here, there and everywhere just to make sure it's handy and I'm not having to you know, move cars to get to shelves and stuff. So I think on that wall there I'm going to have all my detailing stuff and on here I'm going to have some other bits um, which more relate towards a workbench because um, obviously I can get to that detailing shelf shelving when I put that up once this van's out of the way or if there's a car here that's that's out of the way so as always guys thank you very much for watching um, if anyone's got any questions as always get in the comment section um, I enjoy reading people's comments and, and responding to you guys as well uh, and like I say if anyone else is in lockdown let me know what you're doing um, because I'm just as interested in what everyone else is doing as long as, as what I'm doing as well so like I say stay safe guys um, and I shall see you in the next one